This is my Moss Astrodome GT tent. And I noticed that there were no Moss tent videos on YouTube, so I thought I'd set this up and give a quick overview. Um, sadly, Moss tents are no longer made. They were bought out by uh, MSR, so MSR does still make a couple tents with the original Moss design, the Fury and the Storm King, but everything else has been kind of put out to pasture and they make their own designs now. But um, this is a clip version of the Moss Little Dipper. So th the original Little Dipper has pole sleeves, but this one uses clips. Um, makes for a faster, faster pitch. And Moss actually uses really cool um, clips to hold the pole, poles in place. They're called Bro Clips. I believe after uh, the inventor Terry Bro, who still works for MSR. But um, yeah, this goes up pretty quick. And once it's up, it's a very strong shelter. Um, what's, what's nice about it is there are large mesh panels. So you can use this tent pretty much year round. Um, this door right here, it's, uh, it's mesh up front, but then backed by nylon. And then up top, there's four big panels that you can zip open to vent and just to try to reduce condensation in the winter. And there are also, also um, awesome skylights during the summer so you can, you know, without the fly on, open those up and view the stars. So that's pretty sweet. There's an additional pole that you set up that, that runs from here to there and uh, that just keeps, keeps the fly off and keeps it taut. So, yes, yeah, it's a pretty sweet tent. Unfortunately, it's no longer made. It, it, it kind of had one last run when MSR purchased them as the Prophet. It was kind of a mix of the Little Dipper and the Astral Dome because it has sleeves up top, but then clips down down below. So that's that's kind of a cool tent, but it seems like it's a rare tent, hard to, hard to find these days. So let me just pull in and just kind of show you a little bit of the inside. You can see the pockets over there, pockets over here. It also has a uh, gear loft up top but you can see how these open up let me see if I can get this in the frame see how those will zip down and then I like to just shove them in this little area right here there we go you can see out beautiful day today but yeah it's quite spacious I think it's uh about 90 inches by 90 inches so easily sleeps three plus some gear so let's let's throw on the uh, rain fly and give you a look at that so here it is with the rain fly on so you can see it's a good looking tent it's got kind of a brownish tan maybe with a little hint of like uh, gold in it and it's kind of trimmed in red now it's got a big front vestibule that's uh, supported by a pole so you need four poles to pitch it and then one extra small pole that goes across the top there which I'll point out in a second and then a vestibule pole so there's five big poles and and uh, I guess four big poles one medium pole and then one small pole and you can see that there's uh, multiple guile points and they're kind of big with a, a nice size grommet but this tent is very stable once it's fully fully set up. And uh, here's a vent right here. I have this one closed. There's a zipper on the inside. And you can also unzip one of the vents from the inside of the tent and then access the outside of the tent. So that can be shut or open from inside the tent. Um, it's got a little place to stick it out here for increased ventilation. And it's tacked on there three times and then reinforced in the back. So. It's pretty serious. It's not going anywhere. And then each stakeout loop has uh, this little provision here with an extra cord where you can tighten it down. You can also loosen it up so you can fit, you know, skis or ice axes or different things if you're in the backcountry and, and using it during the winter. So that's nice. And then here on the back door, it's a little dark, but you can see that there's another. Another guy point up here plus a vent, which is structured with like a little plastic piece inside there. And you can also, well the way it works is you just uh, 
unzip the door, and then you have access to the to the outside or whatnot. And you zip back up. You can also guide this out just to keep it taut and heavy snowfall. And kick over here. I thought I had this vent open. Turns out I don't. But let's see what the zipper pull is. So you just zip it open, and there's a little a little tab in there, just right here. And you put that tab, flip it over, put it right there, and then gives you a little structure to the vent. So that's a nice little feature. We'll come down here, come over to the uh, vestibule. The vestibule has a large window, so you can check on the weather without leaving your tent. Just kind of see if the storm's blown over or there's more on it, more on the way. Um, and then down here, a little nice thing they've done just to reinforce the the zipper and everything there's a little a ring and that ring is it's connected to this little hook here metal hook so it doesn't put a lot of stress on the zipper let me see if I can get it done with one hand and open this thing up so you can get a better idea right there Let's see if I can okay I'll put the camera down for a second maybe at an angle where you can see it and just and hook it. There we go. So, all right. Throw that aside. There's actually a little pocket on the inside. You can just take this and, and shove it in. Keeps things nice and tidy. You can see there's a lot of room in there. And it even comes with a little floor mat that connects to the tent over there. Has a couple snaps, and then you just stake it out. Keep things nice and clean. You can see there's a lot of room, a lot of room inside of that. There are two guy out points on the on the hoop in the vestibule, so you can get it really, really tight. But yes, it's been a great tent. I really liked it. It's uh, it's strong. It ventilates well. Plenty of room for a family of four or a family of three or just three guys out mountaineering, whatever. It's got 54 square feet, so that's a that's a pretty decent amount of space. But I'm actually moving on to the MSR Storm King, a little bit bigger, but similar in strength and similar in build quality. Both uh, super nice. So yeah, this has been the Moss Astral Dome GT, solid tent. So all right, take it easy.